Okay, let's see how to build our RC boat. First of all, we need a toy boat. This was mine from when I was a child. Now we need a plastic straw. I suggest you to use this, that is the tent holder of the bathroom. So I need to deal now a hole on the back of the boat and inside I can insert the plastic straw respecting a 30 degree angle so that the water can go inside the straw but it stops at uh, the floating level of the boat like this now I just have to fix everything in place using some epoxy glue the glue makes sure that the water go, cannot go inside the boat and it doesn't sink the, the boat I repeat you, the, the water can go inside the straw but it stops at the floating level of the boat I do the same thing also on the outside of the boat and after I smooth everything using some sandpaper waiting that the glue dries I took apart this hair dryer inside of it I found this very nice uh, fan this will become the propeller of the boat now I take a piece of uh, plastic road and I can insert it inside the fan the propeller like this now I take a piece of wood I shape it like the front part of the boat and I glue it in place this will become the where I can fix the motor this motor is very powerful I took it apart from a, a small drill it is a 12 volt motor very very small and powerful so I can secure it in place but before I have to insert the plastic rod where it goes the propeller so this is how it looks when everything is connected together we have the motor that spins freely the propeller underwater and now we just have to make the electronic to control the boat so at the local shop a discount shop I bought this uh, RC car this is was very cheap I have to dismount everything so the steering part of the boat I will use it to control the boat and also the back side so let's see this is what we have on the front of the car we do the same thing dismounting also the back part the wheels are not needed but the small engine will not propel the boat it will control the bigger engine so let's see how I connect on the front of this uh, little motor a piece of iron wire this will work will work like a relay so let's see now that I assemble everything together how it works we have the RC controller when I, I accelerate with the controller I will make a movement on the little motor like this this uh, I repeat you will control only the bigger motor we have instead here the steering part of the machine of the car and this will make steer the boat let's see how first of all we need to take the antenna of the car the antenna is made with a very nice iron material we can see that uh, on the back side of this antenna we have a small ring this r small ring go on the top of the plastic part of the steering car like this so now I have to take the back wheels of the car the wheels are not needed but this piece of uh, iron is very handy we can take a piece of scrap of wood and make the steering part of our boat so let's see how I connect behind the boat this piece of plastic wood and I drill a hole all the way through inside these holes goes inside this uh, piece of iron and I secure it using the original plastics that holds the wheel now with the scrap wood as I told you I, I shape it so that I can make the boat steer like this as you can see it turns very easily without, uh, without problems I remove the top part of the boat and here on the plastic I can secure the brain of the boat with the batteries and all the other components I remember you this was the antenna but now I will use it just for connecting the steering part to the back part of the boat like this when I steer with the remote controller I the, also the boat will steer very nice and easy now you remember this small engine this will work like a relay 
the, the relay will control the bigger engine. So let's see how. From the bigger engine comes two wires. I take one, for example the blue, and I glue it on pl in place with uh, a copper coin on the top, like this. I take a new copper wire and I connect it on the iron wire of the little engine. This will make the contact between the coin and the other wire you can you can see on the left, on the right. So when I accelerate, you can understand that the motor moves and close the contact, just like a relay, but I made it so it's much cheaper and easy also for you to build it. So as you can see, I accelerate and also the bigger engine and the propeller spin. Very nice. So let's see everything together. For powering this uh, bigger motor, I need a much powerful battery, so I will use this 12 volt bat battery. I, I, I just have to connect now all the wires following this uh, schematic that you will see now on the top of the screen. If you have problems that so that the um, propeller spins in the wrong direction, you just have to invert the polarity of the battery, so positive to negative and negative to positive. Now the boat is ready, just see how it works in the water.